how do you control the strength of concrete? In a word, admixtures. So concrete, what is it? I've got, look at this, I've got some concrete right here, well, minus the water. We have some Portland cement, we have some sand, and we have some gravel. Mix these together with the minimum amount of water that you need to achieve the placement and finishing vi viscosity that you need, and we've made concrete. But how do we make it stronger? we've made concrete. But how do we make it stronger? Well, the ratio, first of all, of these three components, very important. So one is the cement component. Always one in the ratio is the cement. But how many sand and how many gravel and the type of sand and the type of gravel and the grading size of each will all depend or will all make a difference towards how strong this concrete's going to be. Now you could have very minor differences from you know a small amount of sand or more sand, little more gravel versus less gravel. These will give you differences in the strength for sure, but they won't give you huge differences in the strength. It's a good starting point, but when you wanna make concrete really strong, you look towards admixtures. So what are these admixtures that I keep talking about? Well, basically an admixture is anything that we've added to a concrete mix to change the design in such a way that we've increased its or enhanced its characteristics somehow, make it stronger or change how fast it sets up or some other thing. So let's give some examples. Aggregates for some, we've got sand and gravel right now for aggregates, but we could also have densified silica fume. We could have fly ash or clay or there's all sorts of different stuff that you could potentially add to a concrete mix to make it stronger. Now, I don't recommend you head down to your local store or refinery and pick up a bag of densified silica fume and start making your own stronger concrete. This would be part of an engineered mix design, something that you would develop on an engineering level, not an experimenting at home level. But still, these aggregates are on the table if we want to make a very, very dense concrete mix and make something very strong than adding something like the silica fume or fly ash which are very very fine components will make a very dense and strong concrete mix they're great admixtures but probably not the first ones you should be reaching to at home let's talk about the first one you should reach to at home it's so simple acrylic fortifier acrylic and or latex are great as an admixture in concrete so if you're in the concrete aisle at your local hardware store, there's probably two bottles of like a con white liquid concrete admixture. The names change depending on the brand, but it's very easy for you to know which one you're looking for. You could read it, probably says acrylic or latex on there somewhere, like this one says acrylic fortifier. But here's an easy way to figure it out. One is glue. PVA, polyvinyl acetate, actual glue, and it's very thick like glue. Acrylic is not thick. It's very thin. That's the one you're looking for. So if you find acrylic or latex, you can add uh, up to 50% of this as a replacement for water in your mix. So however much water you're going to end up using, take 50% of that away replace it with this liquid product and you are going to get some pretty modified concrete that's going to have way different physical characteristics and way different strength characteristics, especially at those mixed proportions. I mean, you wouldn't normally use 50% acrylic. That would represent a very expensive mixed design. That's something that you might see in an example where you're doing an overlay where you're going to take a very thin concrete, maybe even a feathered edge thin. You need to modify that extensively with something like an acrylic at 50% of the water replaced. For the average mix that I'm doing, when I want to enhance its strength a little bit with an admixture, I don't use 50%. That's too much. I perhaps might use that in a bonding slurry where strength and adhesion is paramount. But if I just want to improve a concrete mix a little bit, I take 
a little bit of this acrylic or latex and I add it to my mix. So if I make a five gallon bucket, that's a pretty common size of concrete or mortar for me to batch and use. I'm going to use 50 milliliters of this product and I definitely don't measure it. I just have my bucket. I kind of pour some in and I'm good with that. And I put a little bit of that in each of my concrete mixes and I'm going to get a stronger mix. I'm going to get something that's more resistant to water permeation. There's a bunch of advantages to adding a latex or acrylic product to your mix. In addition to that, it's a retarder, so it will slow down the initial set time of your concrete, giving you a little bit longer for that placement and finishing window. So what else? There must be more things that you can add. Actually, we haven't even talked about the number one thing that you add to a concrete mix to make it stronger. I've got a bag of some here. This is called super plasticizer or water reducer. One of the most important things when making concrete strong is not overwatering the concrete. It's so common, especially for novice concrete workers, to add too much water. It makes it so easy to work with. It's, it's almost self-leveling. It travels flat easily. What's the problem? The problem is, is there's too much water. It's occupying too much space and eventually through chemical actuation or evaporation, that water won't be there anymore. It'll just be empty space and that's not a good thing. So you don't want to overwater a concrete mix, but man, it sure is nice to have that really wet finishing and placement viscosity. And that's where water reducer or super plasticizer comes into play. This is a chemical product that when added to a concrete mix gives you the exact same physical effect as a whole bunch of extra water, except it does not compromise the finished strength. So important. Working with water reducers at the home level or residential level is uncommon, I would say. Most people don't get into working with these things. You probably have to go to a dedicated concrete supplier or even a ready mix concrete supplier in order to find water reducers or super plasticizers. Something like what you see in my hand here, a kilogram or so, that might be enough to do many meters of concrete, many yards of concrete. So like, <laughs> how much would of that would I use in here? Like a whisper. Just a whisper is all it would take. We've added something with this admixture that has increased the technical proficiency you need to have in order to work with your concrete. When we deviate from the basic mix of just cement, sand, and gravel and start looking towards latex and super plasticizers, you might do something now which is a problem. Are you going to have anything that you're adding that might conflict with the acrylic or latex? That's a concern. You need to be aware of that. With super plasticizer, if you were to add this to your mix, mix it all together and then get to work, you're probably gonna have a problem. This stuff here, it's like magic pixie dust in the way that it works. You put it in a mix and you mix it all together and walk away. Come back in 15 minutes time. Every place where there was a single dust molecule, of this pixie dust super plasticizer there will be a ring of hydration around it and i i mean you will be able to physically see because you can see the color here right you'll be able to see the the brown color of it and you'll be able to see it's very watery around that little dust spot and so when you work with something like a super plasticizer product or something that contains super plasticizer it's a really really good idea to mix your mix together and then go walk away have a soda pop or whatever you do take 10 15 minutes come back together mix it again and then do your normal placing and finishing stuff so these are the most common admixtures on the market when you're looking at increasing the strength of concrete there's more there's lots more but these are the first ones you should be looking at if you're asking these questions i hope you found this information helpful